So it's uh, early spring. It's April 8th, I believe. Um, driving down the rail bed again. Did this last year. Uh, posted a video on it, kind of like a vlog style. Uh, because what I'm doing is I'm pre scouting basically all the spots that I like to take pictures at. And I'm just getting a feel for where the ice is at, how much snow is left, and really if there's any birds kind of sitting around in these little pockets of. Uh, open water. Uh, next weekend is uh, Easter long weekend. I'll have more time and I'll be able to actually set up a blind and sit and wait. So it's very important to just go on that initial drive and get a feel for the area and when it comes to going out and actually putting in like the full effort let's say you, you just feel a little bit more comfortable about it so um, Started from the beginning, gonna go all the way down the rail bed. Uh, there's a crossroads where there's open water I, I gotta drive through. After that is where it really starts getting interesting because it's just little beaver swamps, open water. Uh, the frozen lake is behind us, so it, it starts kind of getting a little bit better as we go. So I'm just kind of, uh, let's say, pre scouting the area and taking you guys along. And obviously, I'm taking pictures too because. Yeah, I'm gonna see something. I saw some geese so far. That's it, but I'm hoping that I see a little bit more once I get past that crossroads and it gets a little more interesting. So uh, let's keep going and see what happens, and at least it'll give us an idea for next weekend. Okay, I just want to show you what I'm doing here. I have this um, this bag that's actually a weight for a tent. And instead of using a tent peg, um, or if you have a tarp that you're going to put over um, your camping area or anything, you want to weigh it down. That's that's what this is. It has a clip to weigh down your you know your tarp or whatever you're using. Uh, a rough bottom, but it's just it happens to be. I don't use it for that anymore. I use it for uh, as like a window bean bag for my camera. So it's about half full. Literally, just drop it there. Slap the lens on it like this, and that's how I've been videotaping uh, my birds and and stuff like that to show you guys. I'll cut the engine so it's not vibrating, and then I'll just place that on there like that. Slap it in live view, and I'm good to go. So it. You could probably find something like this at a um, an outdoor store. Um, very, very handy. Sometimes I actually throw it up on the mirror, but uh, you could fill it with rice or rocks or whatever. I I think I got this. Uh, yeah, I got deer food in here just because I had a lot of deer food, which is just grains. But anyways. The point is, it won't fall. I can drive like with this on here. It's very, very grippy, very sturdy, and uh, it's awesome. I've I've been using this to videotape myself up here, and I've been using this as a window mount for my lens. So you just make yourself an area, slap your lens on there, and you're good to go. So if anybody's looking for something like that. It is company's MSR Mountain Survival Research or something like that. Might be wrong on that, but uh, Cabela's uh, Bass Pro uh, stuff like that. You could usually find that at, at places like that. So very cool. If anybody was wondering about that, I'm gonna check out that view.
This is what a uh, photography mobile looks like. I got my camera plugged in here. A little personal studio. I gotta clean this thing out. So, as of this morning, I hit 1,400 subscribers. And that might not be a lot compared to some other people on YouTube, but to me, 1,400 is a lot of people. So thank you everybody that subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. There's four people in particular, though, over the past couple of years that have been really, really positive and have been consistently commenting and liking my videos. And I just want to give a quick special thank you to those four people. Um, also, check them out. I will put a link in the description to their YouTube channels. Um, so check those, those people out. First and foremost, uh, Miss Martini Girl, thank you, Sue, for being super positive over the past couple of years. Um, arts, crafts, also into photography, so check out her channel. Uh, Owen Bale, I only think of him as uh, pretty much an owl photographer because that's something that we have in common, though he's, he's uh, a great nature photographer. Um, not sure if everybody has videos, but I'll check, and if, if they do, I'll put a link. Uh, Luke Hansen Photography. Luke, Luke's bird photos are like next level. Like, you gotta check this guy out. I'll put a link for sure. Um, and lastly, Robert King, thank you for the positivity uh, over the past couple years. Uh, all four of you, thank you so much. Like... Not every subscriber is going to comment, but you four people, you probably have noticed each other because you're all commenting in the same, underneath each other all the time, but thank you guys very much for the support. You guys are the reasons why I get off my ass and do videos. So that's it for me guys, uh, basically I've concluded that it's a little bit early, there's still a lot of ice, uh, not as much uh, open water as I thought, but I got three days of rain coming up and by next weekend it should be perfect. So I should have the blind set up and actually photographing uh, more water birds and hopefully some animals too. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.